Hello, it's Martin, Southwest Injector League again. Uh, here's the van, here's the number if you need us. Right. Today's video is doing a leak off test. Um, right, this customer, uh, it's a 2010 Vivaro. Um, customer says lack of power. So plugged it in, no codes um, showing injectors, one for turbo, um, lack of power and brake switch and glow plugs, but that's not gonna do it. Anyway, right, so if you wanna do a leak off test to see which, um, possibly, which injector is faulty, and I'll tell you more about possibly in a minute. Um, I'm using this one, it's that one, there's a part number. I think I picked this up on eBay, I think. Nothing special, they're all pretty much the same. That one got on eBay, I think they're about 30 quid, 40 quid, nothing special come with. Three different types of solenoid injector ones. Those ones, no idea. Those ones, very rarely use. The leak off pipe ones and the tubes are the ones that are the most general ones that we use. Just comes with a pipe. They're normally all joined together on a big spider and then these pipes um, get um, hard and then they're a nightmare. But anyway, right, what, so what you do, take the leak off pipe off your injectors, so it's just Pull that clip out, pull the leak off pipe off, and I use um, blankers to stop the fuel coming out. Then you find which of the um, the bits is right for you. Just happens that on this one it's number two. Fit them. I fit them on top of the injector. Put the clip back in. Put the pipe on. Put the tube. See what I'm doing? Put the tube into the bowl and repeat to all four, or if you've got six. If you've got eight, I think you might be in trouble. But um, if you've got a V8 diesel, um, you've got more problems than uh, not enough liquid pots. So yeah, basically that's it. There's nothing too technical about it. These spring clips, you can just pull them off like that. It's only like a a little like power clip or whatever they call it and that just pops on into the injector top same as the leak off pipe does and you clip that in and then start the engine and then what you're looking for is the odd man out you're looking for one that either delivers way too much fuel than the others. That one I've got to take a pinch of salt because it's not quite seeming properly. Um, but the rest of them, they all seem to be delivering roughly about the same amount. If I hold that flat, showing, I don't know, it's getting up to like five. That one's pretty much the same. They're all the same, so the problem I've got now. Normally, what you want to see is either one of these bottles filling up really, really fast, or the rest of them filling up at the same sort of speed, and um, one of them not filling up hardly at all. So the odd man out is your culprit. If you've got two that are filling up like crazy, and then the other two really slow, then I would go for the two that are filling up really fast. Um, you always try and go for the one that's filling up really fast because that means it's not delivering fuel. If it's not filling up at all, what's probably happening is dumping all the fuel straight into your cylinder and you'll be smoking like a train. But um, yeah, so if you want to do yourself a leak off test, the garage is going to charge you, I don't know, 100 quid to do this leak off test and you can pick these kits up off eBay um, or Amazon or whoever you get your stuff from. That one says tested uh, what's it was he? Common rail. So it's basically if you just type in diesel leak off kit, you'll find that. And um, all you've got to do is take all, all, that, all that off on a Vivaro anyway. Stick it in the top and find the odd one out. Uh, if it's not coming up with a diagnostic code that uh, leads you to it straight away. So hopefully that's informative. Um, I can't rest. Yeah. That's just 
old rust that is and the reason it's down there just as a side note the the way that they build the engines the the left hand side is slightly higher than the right hand side for the gearbox so all any moisture is supposed to go down this end so everything falls this end and then supposed to go up this little tube here no it doesn't and it just sits in there and gets all rusty and and then you get bits like that where massive lumps of rust just fall off right there we are so until next time uh have fun if you need any advice or you got any questions i don't remember there's a number OGG, and here there you are um or Look me up on Facebook or um, if you email it, um, be nice because it's my missus answers the emails. So, right. Uh, see you all again soon. Bye.